All right, you guys, today we're check out how to create this intertwined kinetic type here in Blender. All right, so first press Shift plus A and select the text, press Tab, and I'm gonna rename it. There you go, hit Tab again. I'm gonna change up the font, let's go to the data, open up the font, and here you can change up the font, and I'm gonna select the Akira. Click on Open, I'm also gonna hit Tab, and adjust the kerning a little bit. Press and hold Alt and press the right arrow or left arrow to adjust the kerning. I'm also gonna add a little bit more space so they won't stick when I apply the remesh. I'm also gonna add some extrusion. So let's go here to the geometry, open it up. Now let's go to extrude. I'm gonna add 0.01. And from here, I'm gonna right click on the text, go to convert to, select mesh. And if I hit tab, you can see the text is quite messed up. So we're gonna need to fix that. Let's go to modifier and I'm gonna go with search for decimate, enter, and I'm gonna select the planar. Let's go and click on apply. Now you can see it's clean. And we're also gonna need to add a remesh. And I'm gonna select the sharp. And here let's uncheck the remove disconnected. So now I'm gonna go and increase the octree depth. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with like nine. It's not that bad. Let's go and click on apply. It has its own imperfections, but we're gonna roll with it. Now let's go and press Shift plus A, go to curve, select the circle, and let's select the text. Let's go to modifier, add curve, enter, and we're gonna go here to the curve object and select Bezier circle. Let's go and select the Bezier circle, and let's go here, press the letter S, so it's gonna scale it, and I'm gonna drag it out, so now you can see the text. Now let's go and select the text. Let's go to object, go to rotation X. I'm gonna set it to 90 degrees. Let's go to the Z and I'm gonna change it to 180. So this is how it looks. We're also gonna to need to increase the resolution of the Bezier curve. So let's go and select the Bezier curve. Let's go to data and increase the resolution, make it more curvy. I'm gonna go with like 40. All right, so let's go and select the text and I'm gonna go to the modifier. Let's go and apply the curve, click on apply. And now I can go and delete the Bezier circle. Press Shift plus A, go to mesh, select cylinder. I'm gonna go and increase the radius. Let's go and view it from the top, press the Z axis. And I'm gonna increase the radius all the way somewhere here. And I'm also gonna increase the vertices, probably gonna go with 120. And then I'm gonna go to the cap fill type, change it to nothing. I'm also gonna decrease the depth. There you go. I'm gonna bring it up. Let's go to modifier and I'm gonna add solidify. Probably gonna go with like 0.01. .01, so it's gonna make the walls a little bit more thicker. Add the cylinder, you know, you can scale it. Let's go and split the viewport in half. Set this up to render. I'm also gonna go to the world and I'm gonna change up the color to white. And let's go to the render, change up the EV to cycles, CPU to GPU. Let's go and bring this up and I'm gonna change it to shader editor. Let's go and select the cylinder. Let's go and click on new. And I'm gonna delete the principled. Now I'm gonna go and select the text and we're gonna need to animate this. So let's go to the object. I also gonna split this viewport in half somewhere here and I'm gonna change it to timeline. Let's go here at the start to zero and the ending 150. And we're gonna go to the object Z rotation and I'm gonna decrease it to zero. Let's go and activate the keyframe here. And now I'm gonna bring this here to 150. And let's go and type in here three 60 degree angles. And let's go and hit the keyframe again here, click on it. And now it's animating if you hit play. Now we're also gonna to need to create an empty press shift plus A. Let's go to empty, select plane axis, and I'm gonna go here, click on the X, and I'm gonna bring the plane axis somewhere in the middle, doesn't really matter. And let's go to the layers, I'm gonna select the text, press and hold shift and drag it into the empty. And I'm also gonna repeat the same step with the cylinder, press and hold shift, and drag it into the empty. So now I'm gonna go and add a camera, and I'm gonna bring it out, press control R, Let's go to object, reset the rotation to 90. Let's go and activate the camera view here. And now I can go and select the empty. And now I can go and select the rotate and you can rotate it however you like. Great, now we're gonna go and add some more text. Press Shift plus A, select the text, hit tab, rename, reposition it, scale it. And I'm gonna go to the object, rotate 90 degrees. 
I'm also going to go to the shader editor, click on new, delete the principled, press shift plus A, search for emission, enter, place it here, connect it to the surface, and here you can change up the color. I'm going to go with blue. I'm also going to reposition it and scale it. And to make this intertwine work, I'm going to bring the text a little bit back and I'm going to scale it up a little bit more and just adjust it as best as possible something like this check this out i'm also going to need to add some stroke at the text so i'm going to select the text press ctrl c ctrl v i'm going to bring the second text in the back i'm going to select the first one let's go to data go to extrude so i'm going to go with 0 0.005 there it is i'm going to select the second text here let's go to data fill mode change it to none Let's go to bevel, add a little bit of bevel here. And I'm also going to go and delete the emission on this one. So it's going to be black and I'm going to add more bevel, I guess. And I'm going to go here to the side and I'm going to go with scale and I'm going to shrink it and make it really thin and bring it next to the other text. So it's going to be really close like so. And here we got the text hit play. And that's how you make this kinetic text animation here in Blender. Thanks for watching.